welcome to the channel. My name is Anna Maria and I will take you through some myths, legends and folklore. And in today's episode I will talk about Bisen that is a gnome-like being and Lyktgubben, the lantern man. Bisen is a being that can be likened to a gnome and is connected with the island of Gotland in Sweden. Bisen was a mysterious creature and usually meddled with the woodsmen that worked in the forest. They were messing with their eyesight or they were hiding their tools. It was said that if you turned your shirt inside out, you could reverse whatever a Bisen had done to you. But there was another side to Bisen and that was that in the former human life they had been a criminal. And as a punishment, they were banned to be this being and wander this earth forever after they had died. But there were ways you could help Bysen to be in peace. In the former criminal life, it was very common that they had been stealing land. So if you helped them put the markers back on the land that they had stolen, they would be free from this punishment and could move on. Bisen often looked like a small old man, like a gnome-like being. They were often dressed in grey and had an axe with them. This was not so strange considering that they were around woodsmen most of the time and wanted to keep the forest in check. They could also shapeshift, like most beings could. They opted usually for a tree stump because they couldn't be cut down and they could watch over the forest. I will briefly go into this being that can be connected to Bysen. Lyktgubben can mean the lantern man or the man with the lantern. He was also called Irriblos that can be translated as will of the wisp that is a form of ghost light. Lyktgubben and Bysen have the connection that they were both once human, a human soul that couldn't rest. The difference was that Bysen was a criminal in the human life, while Lyktgubben could be any human that hadn't crossed over yet. The Lantern Man was usually seen in graveyards or anywhere else that was connected to people's death. You could see the light from his lantern shining in the night. There are similar beings in other parts of Sweden or in Europe, like a wraith, or a ghost or a spirit that does the same thing. These spirits could also be guardians over places where people had buried stolen money or other valuable things. And that was all for this time. If you liked it, please like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget the notifications and I will see you in the next episode.